Um, now, this is something that has been brewing, and I've been chatting with my mates about this for quite a while. The lack of taxis around Ireland. Mm. This is everywhere. Because yes, you not were just saying, Dublin. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm sick of it. Because like, you were saying in Monaghan, there's a serious issue. Well, I was out on Saturday night. There's a taxi driver who took me home. He said he was the only taxi driver that side of Monaghan working the night shift. That was it. So, How did you get that lucky? Uh, well, exactly. Very, <laughs> I was very lucky. Very lucky. Get in early. But the thing is, uh, like, there was loads of like all the bars were packed. Yeah. You know, there's loads. Of, I was just wondering, how's everybody getting home? Yeah. So we have this return to pre-pandemic nightlife levels, but not the you know equivalent return of taxi drivers. And some of the reasons kind of put forward is that maybe a lot of taxi drivers took up other work yeah. when their business collapsed during the pandemic and they haven't returned. Um, other taxis reporting they're feeling quite unsafe at night time because there's been. Um, a, a, you know, kind of publicised a number of attacks. You're picking up yep. drunks and you're picking up people who it's are, yeah, It's not a worse job I'd love to do, no, 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 I'd say, to be honest. I'd say a lot of people over the lockdown, whenever they weren't able to do it, kind of thought, why have I done that mm, for they so did long? Yeah. Something else. Yeah, yeah, and could go and do food deliveries or could drive a van, do like was we're yep. seeing online, so is is gone to a new level. And they're probably making the same, if not more money. Yeah, and the, the fallout from it, of course, is that you have, well, you know, you've people who maybe have to walk home at night and are in a vulnerable situation. It's yeah. a story Amy Malloy has in the Irish Independent about a woman who was kind of followed home because she kept looking for a taxi the whole way. Yeah. And she only shook the guy off when she stopped inside a row of cottages and got on her phone and pretended to make a phone call saying, I'm, I'm down nice. I'm down here, do you want to let me in? And wow. then, yeah. So there's, there's that. There's um, business owners complaining that their staff can't get taxis home at the end of a shift. So um, a lot of uh, a lot of actual, um, you know, yeah. real issues have arisen out of it. Now, some of the, the proposals being put forward are, well, well, we heard yesterday that um, it, a, a, um, there's been an 11% increase in running costs for taxi drivers, so that the fares should yeah. be increased. Now, the National Transport Authority have put, they were put in the papers the other day, they are going to increase fares, yes. and they're also going to have a system for cashless payments, because yes. that has been a big argument, especially from women who are by themselves, that they can't tap and go, big because they're not, accepting, um, they're not accepting cashless payments, unless yes. you're on the app. So there's been a lot of issues around this, and I think it's going to rumble on. It is, they were proposing that they that taxis would have to take card payments. Yeah. And I think it was deferred during the pandemic. So this will all come back into play and again. We're seeing fuel costs going up. We're seeing insurance prices go up. And of course, a shortage and a massive demand. The prices are going to go up and to get people back into the business, into yeah. the industry as well. Just wondering if you've had issues. I know loads of people that have just had nightmares and they're like, it's not worth going out if you can't get a cab. So let us know. Oh